Hello everyone and welcome to Milliecraft. Today we are doing a tutorial on glazed terracotta. We love it. We hate it. We despise it. We are annoyed by it. We want to use it a whole lot more, but it is not easy at all to use especially not the way we want to it's 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 difficult to put the patterns in place that we really want to put in our builds so today we're going to go over the easiest ways that i know to make this way more accessible to the average person so let's begin by taking a look at all of the different vertical orientations of glazed terracotta. Now this probably doesn't encompass all of the vertical alignments that you can do with all of these blocks, but it does kind of incorporate all the ones that I've seen or I've used myself a lot of the time. And I want to go over how I lay these down in a vertical orientation and also in a horizontal orientation, just so you kind of have an idea of it too. Feel free to pause this video, take a look at all of the different orientations, take a look at the different designs. Again, there's probably a lot more than what I even have here, but these do seem to be the most popular setups that I've seen over my course in playing in Minecraft. And maybe you'll find some of your own because there's, there's probably so many more than this and obviously I'm only doing four by fours here just to kind of make it easy on you. So let's begin. Let's take a look at three of the easiest blocks to place when it comes to our terracotta designs and then over time you can kind of expand your horizons to some of these more complicated ones, some of the ones that have even more orientations than the others. So let's start off with a pink glazed terracotta. So something you need to keep in mind when you're setting down terracotta, whether it's going to be in a vertical orientation, like so up and down, like you see them laid out here, or if you're going to have it horizontal, so if you're going to have them on the floor. So things that you need to take into consideration here, do you want your leaves to kind of just go all the way around in an orientation like that? Do you want them to go, but where you can add to that design to either edge? Do you want them all facing into the center? Do you want them all kind of going around a circle and facing out? So the important thing to start with is what is going to be your center focus of each of these four, whether you're doing it horizontally or vertically. So if you know, for example, we're going to do this design, we'll pattern this design because it's the easiest one to start with because there's a circle, a very obvious circle in the middle. You're going to set down your block first. You're going to look at it. Where's part of that circle? So we know this circle is here at the bottom when I set it right like this. When I'm standing this way, it's always going to be exactly the same with the circle over there. Now we know for a fact that this particular orientation, if we're doing it vertically, this block, if we want to match that design right there, would need to be up here on the top left. So what we need to do is we need to find the one that belongs on the bottom left or the bottom right, depending on which way you're doing the design. So what you do is you're gonna rotate yourself. So I'm gonna rotate myself clockwise and then I'm gonna take a look. Is this the way I need it? Yes. So we know that this goes up into the circle. So what I need to do is I need to make a decision which corner is going to match up in this case. So we know that this little block right here, when this is this direction, this little block, I need to line up with it and match it. So if I take, I turn from this direction and then turn clockwise, all of a sudden this matches. Once I know that these two blocks match, I can, if I want to do it horizontally, I can keep going in that same clockwise manner and do it all the way around. Now, if I'm doing it vertically though, there's a little trick to it. So I've gone this way, I've gone this way, 
So because I started it this direction, I went this way. Then you're going to build on top of the second block by turning yourself clockwise one more time, even though it doesn't look right, and then clockwise one more time, and then when you come out, it is the way you need it to be. Now, not all of these designs are going to be clockwise. Some of them are going to be counterclockwise. So let's take a look at this one. So a lot of people like to use this design and make it look like a flower, where this flower design is here. So we know this is going to be the top right-hand corner. So if I had a design with the four here, this would be the top right-hand corner. So I need to find a bottom corner. So if I go to the right like this, that is facing the wrong direction. So let's go this direction. Yeah. So now I know that this one is facing up that direction and I want the design to be here. So I want four petals. So four yellowish orangey petals. I put the flower design here and I came at it from this angle. I'm gonna stand up here and then I'm gonna go counterclockwise. And then I see that this image, these flowers line up. So counterclockwise again on the second block, counterclockwise on the first block. And then we have the floral design. Now we're gonna do one more. Brown terracotta is kind of easy to figure out by itself, um, just because of it's got very sm just just a few additional patterns. It's a little more complicated than these. Do you want this circle to line up like here? Do you want this circle to line up? Do you want this corner to line up? If we know we want, say we want to have this not be the focal point, so it doesn't look like this guy over here. So if we don't want this to be the focal point, but we want it to look like this, for example, where all the arrows are pointing into a circle, then we're gonna need to find the circle point which this one has the circle right where we need it. So on the top it matches, so I'm gonna turn clockwise, this way, clockwise, then clockwise one more time, and back to the first block, and there we go. So there are your vertical alignments. Again, it's always really good to place your starter block, and what you can do is you can always start from the left or always start from the right, um take a look at the design where you want it if you want like the star pattern on this a light blue terracotta to be lined up just make sure that you're matching that corner exactly when you do it and then always jump over onto the next block before you turn yourself so if i turn myself if i started this way jump up turn left move left Turn left again, place it, left again, place it, you will have your design. And the same thing for ver like horizontal. Now horizontal placement is a whole lot easier than vertical placement. Horizontal placement, you need to figure out where your spot in the floor is going to be. And let's, let's take this as an example. If you wanted the lime to look like a lime. So you wanted a lime pattern where it's a circle like that one over there. You're going to find which one actually aims to your bottom corner, and then you're just going to follow it around in a clockwise order. So if I did this one this way, I'm going to go, I'm going to turn to the right and then put it down, turn to the right, put it down, turn to the right, put the next one down. And then you'll have your circular pattern. Now, if you needed this one, if you wanted to have that all the corners out, you would do exactly the same thing, but you'd start from a different corner, clockwise, 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 and then you'd have this kind of design. Say we wanted same way, but we're gonna have the pattern go inward, which will be unusual. We can actually do this way, this way, and this way. And now you have a pattern where it has like, I don't know, like a lightning bolt kind of thing. Your circles to go up like this. If you want it to go like that, you can also do that kind of thing. So I hope you found this glazed terracotta tutorial helpful. I hope this will help you use more terracotta in your designs. And if it did, 
leave me a comment below. Let me know or leave a picture in the Craftworks Discord, which is in the description below. You can join it. It's free to join. There's a lot of fun things going on in there, and I'm usually in there. And thank you so much to Kat, who is in our Discord, for suggesting this tutorial. I hope you find it find it helpful, Kat, because I, I know it's, it's difficult and it's very annoying to have to do. And I hope that you're all able to uh, get some use out of Glaze Terracotta in the future. There's so many more ways that you can use these blocks with other blocks that color match, uh, in floor pattern designs, in wall pattern designs, etc. And I I'd love to see what you can do with it. Thank you all so much for watching. If you have any other tutorial ideas that you'd like me to go over at some point, let me know. I'd love to have some suggestions on other things that you would like to see. And for now, Love you very much. Give yourselves a hug for me, and I will see you next time. Bye, everyone.